Hello guys! Ako pala si Sir Jun at welcome sa aking YouTube channel. Kung bago lang kayo sa aking channel, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at pakipagot na rin ang bell button para manotify kayo kapag nag-upload ako ng bagong video. Ang lesson natin sa video na ito ay tungkol sa special product na square o babay numial. Pero, bago tayo mag-dive in sa ating main topic, let's talk about kung ano nga ba ang square o babaynomial at ang mga math terminologies na ating mababanggit dito. And also guys, dapat nating malawan na ang square o babaynomial is always a trinomial. At makikita nyo yan maya-maya kung bakit. Ito na yung dalawang math terminologies na aking nabanggit kanina. Binomial is an algebraic expression of a sum or the difference of two terms. Halimbawa, meron tayong x plus 3. We all know na binomial ito kasi meron silang dalawang term. Yung unang term is x. At yung pangalawang term is 3. Ito namang trinomial is an algebraic expression consisting of 3 terms. Halimbawa, meron tayong x squared plus 5x plus 2. Consider this binomial. Meron tayo binomial na x plus 3 na ating i-square. So, x plus 3 square. Yung exponent 2 guys, exponent 2, it means that we need 2 Square this binomial or multiply it by itself. So sometimes, sinusulat natin ng ganito. Multiplying by itself, so x plus 3 times x plus 3. Kadalasan, ganito ang ginagawa natin. We use the long method para masolve natin ang kanyang product by using FOIL method. Parang ganito. Pag ginamitan natin ng FOIL method, parang ganito. Una, multiply the first term. So, ito yung first term niya, guys. X dito. Dito naman sa kabila is X. So, magiging X times X is x squared. Tapos, next is outer. So, ito yung outer niya. Then, sa kabila naman is ito yung outer. So, multiply natin. Meron tayong 3 times x is 3x. Then, next, sunod is the i or inner. So, ito yung inner niya. Itong dalawa na to. 3, saka x. So, 3 times x is, again, another 3x. Plus, yung L, o yung last term. So, ito yung last term niya. 3, at saka, at saka bila naman is 3. So, mayroon tayong 3 times 3. And 3 times 3 is equals to 9. So, By using FOIL method, to simplify further, combine yung like terms na 3x at saka 3x. So, meron tayong x squared 
plus 6x plus 9. Kung mapapansin nyo guys, medyo may kahabaan ng method at kung newbie ka, medyo komplikado kung minsan. But wait, let's take a look sa isang special rule that will allow us na mahanap ang kanyang product na hindi ginagamitan ng foil method. And that is our main topic sa video na ito. But before that, always remember, the square of a binomial is the sum of the square of the first terms, then twice the product of the two terms, then the square of the last term. Para mas madili, it will be helpful to memorize these patterns for writing squares of binomials as trinomial. Para sa x plus y squared, ganito lang natin sa sulat, equals to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So ito guys, dito na banda, this is the square of the first term. Then, twice the product of the first term and the second term. Then, dito na banda is the square of the last term. Ganun rin dito sa my x minus y squared is equals to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Guys, kung mapapansin nyo, dito sa taas is plus operation. So, lahat dito is plus. Pero pagdating dito sa x minus y, dito siya is naging minus operation. Tapos dito naman is plus operation. Guys, kung matatangdaan nyo ang subtraction of integers na nagsasabi na it is the addition of the negative. So, bali ganito yan. Yung sign ng y is negative at yung sign ng x is positive. Pag minultiply mo silang dalawa, that is unlike sign, positive times negative, so nagiging negative or minus operation dito. Then, dito naman, bakit naging plus yan siya na operation? Kasi, di ba sabi ko kanina na yung sign ng y is negative. Pag in-square mo yan guys, y or negative y times negative y is magiging positive y squared or magiging plus sign dito. Sana naintindihan nyo at nakuha nyo yung paliwanag ko dito. Okay? Para sa o na nating halimbawa, meron tayong x minus 5 squared. So guys, ito lang ang gagamit, gagamitin natin formula. So, meron tayong x minus 5 squared. So, since minus operation yan, kung natatandaan nyo, x plus y squared. So, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. Or, gagamitin natin na pattern. Okay? Yung first term natin guys is x. Tapos yung second term natin is 5. So, ang una natin gagawin is square of the first term. So, x squared. Then, minus Minus guys, dahil dito, di ba? Minus. Then, twice the product of the first and the second term. That is, 5 
x. Ito guys ha, 5 times x or 5x. And lastly, we have plus the square of the last term. Na? 5 squared. Then simplify. x squared minus 2 times 5 is 10 then x 10x plus square of 5 5 times 5 is 25 so the square of x minus 5 is x squared minus 10x plus 25 Pagbibigay pa ako ng isa pang halimbawa. Sa ating pangalawang halimbawa, meron tayo x plus 4 squared. So, yung first term natin is x, yung second term natin is 4. Ang unang gagawin is square of the first term. Tapos, Plus, plus yan guys, plus operation kasi, plus ito, then twice, the product of the first and the second term. So, 4 times x is 4x, plus the square of the second term. So, meron tayong 4 squared. Simplify. So, meron tayong x squared plus 2 times 4 is 8. Then, x plus square of 4 is 16. Para sa pangatlong halimbawa natin, meron tayong 3x plus 4y squared. So, ang first term natin is 3x. Then, yung second term natin is 4y. So, the same process. Square of 3x. So, meron tayong 3x squared plus next is twice the product of first term and second term. So, meron tayong 3x at saka 4y. Then, sunod square of the second term. Okay, simplify. So, 3x squared. So, 3 squared is 9. Tama ba? Then, x squared. Plus, multiply natin to guys ha. 2 times 3, saka 4. So, 2 times 3 is 6 times 4 is 24 then yung mga variables niya na x at saka y so x times y is xy then plus 4 squared 4 squared is 16 tapos yung y niya is y squared so the square of 3x plus 4y is 9x squared plus 24xy plus 16y squared. Okay? So, madali lang guys. So, just follow this pattern. Pag plus, so puro plus yan siya. Pag minus, so minus ito, plus naman dito. So, Isa pang halimbawa.
Para sa pang-apat nating halimbawa, meron tayong 5D plus 7D squared T squared. Okay guys, para sa solution. So, yung first term natin is 5D. Tapos yung second term natin is 7D squared T. So, square natin yung first term. So, meron tayong 5D squared T. Plus, twice ng product ng first term at saka second term. So, we have 5D at saka 7D squared T. Then, plus yung square ng second term na. Seven D squared T squared. Simplify. Five D squared. So square mo natin yung five, which is five times five is equals to twenty-five. Tapos yung D squared. So D squared plus So, lahat nito is i-multiply natin 2 times 5 times 7, 70. Tapos, yung D at saka D squared, D times D squared is D, D3. Then, times T. Kasi mag-isa lang siyang T dito. So, tatlong D. So, D times D squared is D to the 3 or D cube. So, itong lahat ito is equal to 70 D cube T. Then, plus, ito guys ha, yung D times D squared ay naging D cube dahil sa pinatawag natin na product rule. Kasi yung D na ito is sa taas niyan is 1, D to the 1, tapos multiply mo sa D to the 2. So yung exponent nila, dalawa is i-add lang natin. So that is 1 plus 2 is equals to 3. Okay? Then sunod, 7D squared T Squared. So, square mo natin yung 7. 7 times 7 is 49. Tapos, ito naman guys. D squared squared. Kung matatandaan nyo yung raising a power to a power. So, ang gagawin natin dito is i-multiply natin itong dalawang 2 times 2. So, magiging D So, magiging D to the 4. Tapos, ito namang T. Square natin. So, magiging T squared lang siya. Then, kung mapapansin nyo, hindi na natin ito masisimplify further kasi wala na ng ibang magkapariho ng terms. So, guys, ang square ng 5D plus 7D squared T ay... 25D squared plus 7D cubed T plus 49D to the 4T squared. So guys, if you can remember this pattern, you can easily square a binomial without having to use the FOIL method.